guys so it is monthly favorites time and I thought um, I would do it <laughs> so this would be my September favorites um, the first thing in September was I got my camera so let me show you my camera Woo! got it yeah everybody's loving it I love it whoa loving it all right um the next stuff are pretty much cosmetics and everything um i do have some facial stuff or some like cleaning products for your face um or exfoliant i am loving the myra's cosmetics oatmeal bar i cut up mine because i like things to last long so i can save money because i am Jewish and I like to save money. <laughs> I also like to spend it as well, but whatever. Um, but I know that sounds really bad and no hateful Jew comments, please, or that I'm mean towards Jews because I am one. Anyways, I love this. I think it's great. I, I love the smell of it. I it exfoliates my skin really well. I use it every other day because um, I have really dry skin and I have to get that dry shit off. Um, and the moisturization side is awesome as well. So I totally recommend this. Um, I also am super lazy with taking off my makeup. Um, some people ask me what I've done, what I do to take off my makeup. I use like cleansing gels. And my favorite are, like, cheap, cheap, cheap ones. I got two bags of these, and it came together. And there's 60, um, there's 60 towels in here, and they have, um, it's the Equate Exfoliating Cleansing Towelettes, and it's um, supposed to be the knockoff version of the Pons ones. And Pons, if you don't know what Pons is, Pons uh, is a makeup remover that um, is best known for taking off stage makeup. So that shit works real well. It's awesome. Okay, so makeup! Um, wait, I have one more thing. Moisturizer. Um, I'm looking for another one because this is pretty much out and I'm not completely thrilled with this and I'm looking for like the best moisturizer for super dry skin like I wish I had oily skin like that would be cool for me I have so dry skin but I have been using this and it's all right um so leave me a, a comment on what your favorite moisturizer is please nothing ridiculously expensive because I refuse to pay more than ten dollars on a moisturizer I think that would be uh, that's really stupid um, I think I'm about to, like, just go pick up some sunblock, because that's just, like, so greasy, and I think it would work. Um, but, alright, so, I, I am also loving these earrings that Super Freaky One Are You sent me. Oh, they're just, I don't have to wear a necklace with them. I'm wearing this, like, dress thing right now, and it has, like, a, like, a, crossy back thing. I love racer backs. I think they're so like sexy but sporty and you can dress them up, dress them down. I love them. Um, and I always wear my dresses with pants if you guys didn't know that. I always wear them with like skinny jeans. Um, alright, so makeup. Finally makeup. Jesus. I didn't mean to say that. Okay, um, the Color Lift Capsules from Signature Club A. I use these over my, um, well, crap. I don't see it. Oh, Studio Secrets. I really love this primer, but I do not like it being in a jar. i rather it be in a tube because I hate digging my fingers in this jar and getting primer. Underneath my fingernails, I think it's gross. I don't like doing that. So if you have any suggestions suggestions for good primers that are kind of cheap, I want to try the hard candy one. Um, I like, I think that would work fine, but I do really like this. The formulation of it is quite good. Um, also, with the color lift capsules, when I don't feel like wearing foundation, which is quite a lot, 
Um, I have been using um, the Color Lift Capsules with my concealer and color corrector, which are also on my favorites. This is a lavender color corrector, and this works awesome on pimples. I have a huge pimple right here, and you can barely see it because of this. And then, because of this, I put this, and then this, and then powder, and it works brilliant for me. So, it's the Dream Mousse Concealer and Lavender Color Corrector. I love these. Awesome. Um, brushes. Right now, my two, well, I have three favorite brushes. Um, my MAC, this is pretty much purposely for when I do use my Revlon Color Stay. I love this brush for it, and this is the 187, I believe, but the number has worn off, so I could be completely and totally wrong. But I really like this brush. I just stipple on my foundation, and it works really well. Um, the next is another MAC brush, and I think this is, I don't even know, I think this is the 109, not completely sure, but I do like this, I take really good care of mine, um, that's why it's not all bent out and whatnot, um, when I clean it, I wrap, um, like, toilet paper around the black part, um, like three sheets and I fold them in half and I wrap them around pull it up I'll leave a video to how to do that Dusty O'Hunter did one and that's why my brush looks like this and not like crap And my last one is really dirty and this is the E25 blending brush um, Mac has one every brush company probably makes a similar brush to this and this is just a just one of the best crease brushes I've ever used. I really, really like it. I don't want it in travel size. I want it in the big size and the travel size. I want like nine of them. I love them. Okay, um, for blush. This is has became my new favorite blush. Um, I like it as much as I like Revlon Pinking of You, which, as all of you know, has been like my all-time favorite pink blush forever. But this is the Pink Mosaic Powder by NYC. And there's so much product in here. I mean, it's it's just like, and it has a great pink to it. I love it. And I love all the different colored pinks. It just works really, really well for my skin tone. And I love it. Um, a lot of you guys know that I love red lipstick. And my favorite red lipstick for this month is Chaos by NYX. But, um, you guys have all seen that it's just a really brilliant red. But most of you guys don't know is I don't wear lipstick every day. I, I, I When I do wear lipstick, it's always red. And I usually always wear it more, I wear my eyes in more of a pinup type style when I do wear my red lipstick. However, when I'm going for super dramatic eyes, like kind of how I have today, I love to wear pink gloss. I hate pink lipstick. I think it's nasty. Um, I use it on other people, but I just don't like it on myself. But this pink gloss, I was sent by The Rawness, and this is in Love Dove. And it's great. Um, there's some sparkles and stuff in there, if you can see it. And I just overall like Hard Candy. I think it's a great brand. Um, I also have a perfume that The Rawness also sent me. And this is Halle Berry's perfume. Oh my god, it smells so good. Oh my god, it's my favorite. I like this as much as I like Daisy by Marc Jacobs, which I did not think was possible. It smells like I would want crap to smell. Like, I love how this smells. It's so floral. I do not like, I don't like smelling like food. So people that like, like, vanilla scents and shit like that, I like that for my lips. But I don't like smelling like dessert. I'm already a big girl. I don't want to smell like I just ate a ton of dessert. I want to smell floral. I want to smell femme. I want to smell like sexy and sultry and I love it. It's awesome. Okay, so eyeliners. I've really been on an eyeliner kick this month as well as blushes. Um, I am so, you guys have heard me talk about the shimmer strips. I don't have that in this video because it's already in a favorites video. 
um, but the Physician Formulas Pop Eyes um, Liners. This is such a deal. If you don't have these, you totally need to go out and get them. I want to get it, get um, more of them because. I love these so much and there's just enough product in here to where you could use it up and not waste a ton of product because I know if like MAC fluid line and my um, uh, Bobbi Brown eye gel or whatever I, can't, I couldn't use those up by the time that they dr dried out and my Bobbi Brown is almost completely dried out and I haven't finished it. So these are much smaller and they're great. I love them. 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 Um, and for on my waterline, I love the liquid line blast. Um, when I just started out on YouTube, one of the first friends I made was, um, Selen X Riot, um, who is also Meg. Most of the people that are subscribed to me are also subscribed to her. And um, th she said in the beginning that this was a dupe for Zero. And I have Zero now, so I really can compare and contrast. And I like this more, honestly. Um, one, because of the price. Two, because I just think it's better. I think it lasts longer. I have really watery eyes, and this pretty much stays put. So I really, 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 really love this. Um, I've also been using my Urban Decay Primer Potion in Sin a lot. I want to get the big one of this. I, I really do like this one a lot. I like it better than the original. Um, for the original, honestly, I if I was to like something that does not have any color at all, I actually prefer the Too Faced one. But as far as color, color pr colored primers go, I really do like this. Um, I want to try Eden as well. Um, and some eyeshadows. Wait, I want to do my other highlight. I love this highlight. Shauna sent it to me. It's amazing. Um, this is the Great Balls of Fire, and these are some fiery balls. Uh, I mean, this, the, this is so good, it's like fire. Like, I freaking love this. It is the best highlight. I will pretty much cry when this is over and I'm going to have to like PayPal Shauna every time I need a new one of these because it's amazing. Thank you Shauna, you rock for sending me that because I truly do love it. Um, another favorite is the Lust palette from um, Wet n Wild. I love this. Uh, I have all of them. I love all of them. I use all of them. Probably my most used one is Greed just because it has that really dark matte black in it. It looks like this. And people say this is the worst one. Honestly, this is a great one. I love this one. They say that this is the worst palette from the Color Icon series. No, it's not. They're bullshitting you. Um, the next... I, eyeshadow is also from Wet n Wild, and this is Brulee. I've had this in a favorites before, but honestly, it's just the best matte highlight ever, and it's just so pigmented and beautiful. Um, the next eyeshadow is from Sigma, and I got this as a contest prize. Um, Sigma sponsored a contest that I won, um, and I got two brushes and an eyeshadow. And I got I got the blues eyeshadow, and a lot of people complain that the Sigma. Um, I've watched a lot of videos that say that the Sigma eyeshadows are really um, when when you blend them, they just blend away. I haven't had that problem with this. I really really love it. Um, and last but not least is the mascara of the month, and it would be the falsies. I really really like it. So. That is this month's favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will talk to all of you soon. Thank you, everyone, for watching my videos. I appreciate it. I have reached 820-something subscribers, and I really, really love you all. So I will be talking to all of you soon. And if you want to know how to do this look, I will have a tutorial up as soon as possible, if not already up. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.